JFT just fair and direct. Good morning everyone and welcome to JFD's daily market review for February the 2nd. I am Haralambos Pissuros, head of research here at JFD. I will talk about yesterday's main market movers, what's my opinion moving ahead, what are today's important events and how they could affect the markets. But before we start, let's uh, read our disclaimer. The content we produce does not constitute investment advice or investment recommendation, should not be considered as such, and does not in any way co constitute an invitation to acquire any financial instrument or product. I will leave you a few seconds uh, to read the rest and then we will jump into our analysis. Okay, the US dollar continued trading lower against all the other major currencies on Tuesday and during the Asian session Wednesday. It lost uh, the most ground versus, uh, versus the Aussie and the Kiwi, as well as the pound, while it underperformed the least versus uh, the Canadian dollar. Now, the weakening of the US dollar combined with the strengthening of the risk linked to Aussie and Kiwi suggests uh, that the financial world continued trading in a risk on uh, mode. Indeed, turning our gaze to the equity world, we see that major European and US indices were a sea of uh, red, uh, excuse me, we are a sea of uh, green with the increased appetite rolling into uh, an EK session today. The other Asian indices under our radar remained closed. Now, yesterday we noted that Monday's rebound in equities may have been the result of uh, portfolio rebalancing and that this may continue for a while more, despite no major change in the fundamental outlook. This may have indeed uh, been the case, but remarks by some Fed officials may have also encouraged some more risk buying. Philadelphia Fed President Patrick uh, Harker uh, said yesterday that it may be appropriate to proceed with four hikes this year, at a time when market participants are pricing in nearly five uh, quarter point uh, interest rate hikes, while St. Louis Fed President James, Bu James Bullard, who is considered to be a hawk, said that he, dis he does not favor double hikes, disappointing those expecting a, a 50 basis points in increase at the upcoming uh, Fed meeting. Now, as for our view, it, it has not changed much. Uh, yes, some further advances may be in the works for a while more, but uh, we are still reluctant to call for a long-lasting recovery. Expectations are still for higher rates this year in most uh, major economies, and on top of that, uncertainty surrounding uh, Ukraine remains elevated. Now, as we noted yesterday, uh, we prefer to trust some, some more recovery in Eurozone indices, and this is because we see the case for uh, the ECB to lift interest rates much, slow th much slower than the Fed. Now, speaking about the Eurozone and the ECB, today we get the bloc's preliminary CPIs for January, with both uh, headline and core inflation expected to have slowed notably. However, bearing in mind that Germany's uh, rates did not decline as their own forecasts uh, suggested and instead stayed unchanged, we would consider, we would consider the risks uh, as tilted to the upside. Better than expected numbers could allow some Euro traders to maintain their bets with regards to a small rate increase by the ECB later this year, which in a weakening USD environment could help the Euro uh, gain somewhat. Uh, however, we need to be careful. Any further recovery in the Euro could stay very limited and short-lived. Remember that tomorrow we have an ECB decision and if the governing council sticks to its, to its uh, guns that the rate hike this year is unlikely, we could see the Euro coming back under renewed selling interest. Now, as for the rest of today's events, besides the Eurozone CPIs, we also get the US ADP employment report for January, with a forecast suggesting that the private sector added 208,000 jobs from 807,000 in December. So, that's it uh, from me. Thank you very much for watching and listening. For those who are interested in learning about the main events of the week much earlier, you can subscribe to the Weekly Market Outlook webinar, which I'm holding every Monday at 8 o'clock a.m. GMT. You can find the link in the description below. So goodbye, have a great day, and I'm looking forward to seeing you here again tomorrow. J
JFT, just fair and direct.